Um, luckily, you've got a way. You've got a way to get there. The route is already planned. You've got Jessica Curtin alongside of you. You've got a, a good set of horses and you've got a great exercise that you've, um, you've drawn up for us. Tips and tricks with Anna Kalnerova. Um, something very, very easy. Anna, what did you draw up for us? Uh, what I, it is a very simple exercise and I was debating whether sharing it or not, but that was the, really the first thing that came to my mind um, because it really helped me with, uh, for example, Silverstone, uh, who was one of the horses I you know, jumped uh, the Grand Prix and the Global Champions uh, you know, competitions with. Um, it is two sets of, uh, it's two verticals uh, on one stride. And normally I would put it on uh, the short side of an arena uh, to make the horse, you know, uh, and the rider bend a little bit and, and ride through the turn a little bit more. Um, you can come it from any side and basically you ride it a little bit in a figure of eight. Um, the reason why I chose it is because even though this opinion or my opinion might change in the future as I gain more experience, I really think that, you know, the balance of the horse and the rider is, is absolutely key because if you need to gallop, you know, in a jump off to the last uh, uh, vertical, you need to be able to just shift your shoulders back and the horse needs to feel it and balance himself out and, you know, get ready, you know, to, to be, you know, to jump the last fence or in a short turn, you know, where you're going against the clock. Again, you know, you, ha you the rider, have to be in balance and the horse has to be in balance also. So interpreting, you know, these two easy jumps with a stride uh, as well as in the turns, you know, using some show jumping dressage to really work the horse work uh, on his balance, on where his shoulder placement is, on where his hind legs are, but also on, on your um, body weight. You know, sometimes we think uh, it's the horse that's leaning in, but it's because our body weight isn't exactly centered. So working, you know, uh, on these two different things to be able to really, uh, you know, pick the pick the, the little things and, and work on the little things that in the end, you know, allow you to be more successful in the course is what I think, or at least for me, uh, has been the key um, to really, you know, nail the little differences that then, you know, will make up the, the big hole and the horse will be ready for, for anything then in the big courses. Okay, give me some details. Um, six meters in between, I see. Um, the verticals, how high do you jump them normally? Uh, for sure, not big. I would start with, uh, I don't know, 80, 90 centimeters, build it up maybe to one meter, one meter ten. It's not about the height. It's about, you know, the concentration of coming to the verticals and then turning either sharp after the verticals or coming sharp to them. You know, it's really, as I said, about the turn and the, and the approach and the way you ride the tight circle to these two jumps. What, what you, you spoke about uh, Silverstone, who, that jumped his exercise quite a lot. What yeah. did you want to improve on him? What did he do? What was not going perfectly? What did you want to improve with him? Uh, with, with him, I really worked on the turn uh, after the jump. So I would, you know, ride into the two verticals. And as I would be jumping out the second vertical, I would, you know, put my body weight inside. I would turn, but I would really, you know, focus on putting my inside, le inside leg on, uh, having my outside hand to stabilize him and ask him to really, you know, bend in the turn, but at the same time push, you know, push with his hind legs and create a lot of energy, but on a small stride, you know, to get him to close down and, and be round and use his back muscles, use his stomach muscles. Uh, use his, you know, hind legs to really work in the turn so that then when I ask him to make a, a short turn, maybe to a taller vertical in a, in a jump off, he would already have the memory of, you know, putting his weight back, going through the turn and then getting ready to jump the jump. Um, just to give our viewers a, a bit of an idea, um, how often would you jump this in one session? And how many, would you repeat those sessions regularly uh, every week or per week? Uh, per, week, per week, I would say, you know, you can use this exercise once a week or even twice a week with every horse. It depends how old the horse is, um, uh, if you want to be jumping more or less with him. If it's an older horse, you don't want to be jumping with the horse all the time. You know, you want him to be excited to work, excited to compete. Um, so it really depends at what stage um, of your partnership and of, of the horse's career you're at. Um, and for sure, when I would do this exercise, I would repeat it many times. It's not about doing it, you know, two times uh, 
perfectly, but it's about doing it from the left side, from the right side, giving the horse a nice break, maybe doing something else, maybe doing a little bit of, uh, um, you know, movement going forwards, going backwards, and then coming back to the exercise. Um, repetition is, is never a bad thing to do, I think, when it comes to these small gymnastics, this, this small type of uh, show jumping dressage, because it doesn't tire the horse, it doesn't, uh, you know, you're not using extreme amounts of push like you would um, maybe when jumping a 160 oxer. So doing these little things, I think, helps, helps a lot also for their concentration. Super. Thank you very much. The, the whole explanation of, um, of this exercise is very elaborate, and I think everybody basically understands what you want to say and what this, uh, this could, be, uh, could be good for. Thank you for giving us uh, some, uh, some insights.